Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rumen. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Last time we explored a gross underpass and now we are at what appears to be some sort of construction site. Alright, let's get started. Now these health drinks right here, these health drinks, these will not appear if you have too much supplies in stock. So those might not appear for you if you've been playing really well. third level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Whoopsie daisies. You can examine the step ladder. She says something kind of funny about it. Come on, I know you can examine this. There we go. A step ladder is too big and bulky to take with me. However, this is perfectly fine. The fourth level floor has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. I'm not talking much because I just really like, like the ambient song that's playing. It would be difficult to hear this if uh, I was talking. Very nice ambient sounds right there. You can examine this toilet, but like nothing interesting. She says it looks like it would ha it, it's been used though, which is kind of gross. And right over here, the wall color looks a little different here and the material is different too. It might break if it's hit hard enough. So yes, you just want to... Yeah! I got a silencer. And she's, she says something pretty interesting if you uh, examine the rubble here. I can see legs through the broken part of the wall. I hope those are just mannequin legs. I guess I'm not that lucky. Just like the black cat, I wish I hadn't seen that. So yes, let's zoom in on those legs right there. Yo. Some ammo right here. That sound that plays gets me every time. Like, every time that plays, I'm like, is there somebody above me in my house? Anyways, you can run over here, grab this health drink, and you can examine this if you want. There's a little home made up, there's a little home made up of cardboard boxes and old blankets. I guess a squatter was living here. It's nothing too interesting. You want to push down this mattress. And now we can finally jump down this hole. hole in the ceiling is like way bigger than what we saw up there and you can actually um fall down that hole without pushing down this mattress and that does in fact count as a death so be careful also this is a pretty rarely heard song so i'm just gonna sit here for like five seconds just to listen to it and already that's what that song sounds like if you re-enter, there will, in fact, be an insane cancer right here. Nothing too interesting, though. You can examine- whoopsie daisies. You know what, there's nothing really Im important to examine in that room, so yeah, just forget about it. Basically, if you examine one of the things in that room, she says that we're inside a mannequin company's uh, building, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. 
Nothing too interesting, though. This is the only mannequin with a head. There's something weird about the headless ones. Like, they can still see me or something. Ick. Examine all these mannequins, too, but nothing too interesting. <laughs> anyway, we hear their handgun bullets. Those handgun bullets will turn into shotgun shells on different difficulties. This. This is blood. People often consider this one of the scariest things in this game, and yeah, look look at that. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat little scare, if I'm being honest. And let's get out a different weapon, because the mall is kind of slow. I only got it out just to make that joke earlier about the stepladder being too big. Don't bother fighting these uh, double heads. Like, don't even bother. Whoopsie daisies. I don't know why I always say whoopsie daisies when I bump into something. So yes, don't bother fighting those double heads because those double heads, um, do, do, they do not respawn even if you don't bother killing them. Like, they will not be there when we go back downstairs. You can examine some stuff, like you can examine this here, you can examine this, uh, elevator, but again, nothing too interesting. And again, we have not even found the map yet, but... You know, it's not too confusing. You want to come in here. The screwdriver right here. This screwdriver will not be here on easy riddle level difficulty. I mean, come in here and take a katana. Let's examine the katana, shall we? This is a short katana, about two feet long, pretty powerful and easy to handle. This is one of the better melee weapons in the game. It is better overall than the steel pipe, but it is not an outright replacement. They both have their uses. The katana is shorter, and you can't move when swinging it, and it has less stun, but it is more powerful. The steel pipe advantages are that it stuns enemies a little bit more, it's longer, and you can move when swinging it like this. You cannot walk back and forth and do this same move with the katana. So yes, they both have their uses, both the katana and the steel pipe, but the katana is just a little more useful overall in the grand scheme of things. You can examine this V1, looks like there was a picture here, only the caption is still around. Flame purifies all. Flame, eh? Well, I don't know what kind of picture used to be here, but I'm not too fond of fire. It's scary somehow. That's pretty much the, the uh, most interesting thing to examine in this room, but you can examine this if you want to. She complains about the price of this painting, which is pretty funny. Not, not, not like she's going to buy it anyway. Uh, there's a mountain landscape here, nice and relaxing. You can examine this vase. She says it's not really her style and it's too big to use as a vase. Sorry for the random cut, but very quickly I'm going to examine this picture as well. I forgot to examine this earlier. Its title is Repressor of Memories. What the hell kind of title is that? I don't get this picture at all. So yeah, it's a bunch of stuff to examine in that room if you want to examine stuff. Here we have another numb body. Gonna show off the, uh, the katana. Gonna block. There we go. And that's the katana for you. And as you noticed, um, the katana didn't really stun that monster much. However, if you use the steel pipe instead on this uh, numb body over here. Well, it was a little better at, at using it, I mean. As you can see, the, the, the steel pipe is stunning that numb body right there. So yes, the steel pipe has more stun. I hope I'm not getting redundant by saying that over and over again. Nice blue health. In here, there's an insane cancer. But don't don't bother fighting it. There's like nothing else in that room besides that insane cancer. Elf drink right there. Did you hear that ambient sound? That's pretty cool. Back right there and leave now. And now I must backtrack all the way downstairs. And once we get back down there, 
you will notice something interesting. I wonder what's going to happen. And for some reason, the dogs just are not here anymore. That always is kind of weirded me out, because that's a pretty interesting uh, monster despawn for a Silent Hill game. Usually, Silent Hill games don't despawn monsters when you haven't killed them. You can examine this if you want the elevator doors are open a little. The space is too narrow to be of any use, though. Yes, this is the most uh, interesting thing to examine here. You want to make note of that. There is nothing in this room either, just a bunch of monsters, but I'm going to enter and show it off anyway. See, we got insane cancers right here. We got two double heads, two insane cancers. Pretty wicked, pretty wicked stuff. So yes, no items in there, just a bunch of enemies. You can come in here, grab two first aid kits. If you had too much supplies in your inventory before entering this building, then those two first aid kits would simply be one health drink. And that isn't fun. You only get one health drink. Always nice to get two first aid kits there. And here we have... The map finally! Hell yeah. I want to go into your inventory right here, and we can use the uh, the screwdriver right here. This flathead screwdriver was in the corner of the hallway, totally ordinary. I got a rope. After picking up that rope, you can turn around and examine a save point. Nothing else to do in this room, so we can just leave. I believe that if you have a uh, little ammo in your stock. Right now I have 24 shotgun shells and 114 handgun bullets, which is like very good. But if you have like a lot less than that, then I think ammo will appear on the table here. And now we must come over here, right here. And use the jack. You use this to raise a car when you need to change a tire or something. And this next part is funny. Heather does like the most absurd thing any Silent Hill protagonist has ever done here. This was used at a drawer in the office. It looks dirty and well used. Will he use the rope to get downstairs? Sure, let's Luke Skywalker our way downstairs, shall we? And there we go, we're down here now. I always found that so funny how she just does that. That's funny. That old familiar pattern is on the piece of paper stuck on the vending machine. Who the hell put it here? It's not like the latest, it's not like it's the latest fat or anything, right? Our next destination is down here to the right. You can pick up some beef jerky right here. You can examine these Dalmatians. A dog figurine, it looks real enough to bite. There will be numb bodies in this next room, and to avoid them, what you want to do is you want to turn your flash it off, and then you want to try to shimmy around them like so. Ah, it knocked me down. Again, sorry for the random cut, but this is actually a pretty interesting thing to examine in this room, and I forgot to examine it. A bathtub display. There's a dark red stain at the bottom. But, so yeah, as you can see, there's like a dark red stain there. That's pretty interesting in my opinion, so yeah, there it is for you. At this point, I would say as long as you have four health drinks and two first aid kits, then you're good. Have that as your deadline. Examine this bathtub right here. Oh, I knew it.
It's being invaded by the other world, by a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Oh, no, not again. <sighs> Did she do this too? Now that is a very interesting cutscene. I like how when you examine this, you can actually hear Heather twist the knob. Oh, what is that? A mouth and two ears? Gross. Pick up these uh, handgun bolts. I'm trying to pick these up. Come on. Come on. There we go. I, I guess that's a funny hitbox or something. There's a doll in the wheelchair. I have a bad feeling about it. Yeah, so do I. Let's zoom in on it, shall we? Uh, creepy figure right here. You can't really examine it. She has nothing to say about it. But he is holding some scissors right there, which is pretty interesting. Okay, here is a new monster in this next hallway. They're very dangerous. You just want to run around them. You can distract them with beef jerky if you want. What you want to do is you want to run to that door right there as fast as you can. I'll sh I'll be sure to point an arrow at it. All right, let's do this. Quickly take a hard left. There we go. Don't even bother with that hallway. Just get here as fast as you can. You want to pick you want to examine this? Oh, there's something here. Find the holy one. Kill her? Oh shit. That's me. That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. And she actually keeps it because if you go into your uh, memos, you can see that there's a photo on the chair and yeah, it's in her uh, memo now. Memos. And it's not on the table anymore, so yeah. Save point right here if you feel. Feel free to save. Heather, that's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Well, I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Ah, uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry, I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy! Does this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? Something wrong with you too.
there is a lot to take in in that cutscene. I don't think I'll go into this room, that weird guy's in there. It's a shame that Heather won't go back in there because there's actually like a wall with a bunch of text in it. And, I mean, I mean on it. And I wish you could examine what that wall says, but you can't. Yeah, so many items right there. We picked up some, uh, Oxidol. You use this to disinfect cuts and stuff, it foams when you put it on. Also, s something to note is, is that guy in there? He's missing some teeth. Hard to notice, but he is in fact missing some teeth. On normal and easy mode, there will be a paper on the desk right here. Here I am on easy mode. As you can see, there's a new thing we can examine right here. There's a junior high school chemistry book here. When you pour diluted hydrogen peroxide onto manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it will help other things to burn. And this next paragraph right here, like this one right here, is not on normal mode. And, and that's the difference between the easy version and normal version of this memo right here. Oxygen is also formed when the disinfectant oxidal is poured onto grated vegetables or liver. And here I am back on hard mode. Broken TV right here wouldn't be Silent Hill without it. And let's save. All right, and with a save point right there, that seems like a nice convenient spot to end off on. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.